Greetings, this is A. Russell Hughes, your superintendent, with your November update. We have had an exciting, uh, kind of uh, very uh, non-traditional uh, few weeks, as you well know, for our community, for our schools, uh, with having to be out some and, and of course, host some shelters uh, and things of that nature. It's been very, very uh, challenging, but uh, it has been uh, something we've been able to deal with and because we have great people. You will see that I'm standing right here in the middle of the halls of uh, Freeport High School where we hosted the shelter. Mr. Hope and his phenomenal staff hosted almost 1,000 people uh, who had to evacuate because of Michael. Um, and uh, we opened one at, at Walton High School as well. Uh, I'm gonna let you hear from Mr. Hope and his staff in a few minutes, but I wanna kind of remind you of a few things. Uh, first of all, with the change uh, and having to be out of school, we're gonna push interim progress reports back one uh, educational week. That'll be November 27th. Uh, each school can change it a day or two before or after uh, because they had already had it scheduled and if they have any field trips, homecoming, things of that nature, then they'll need to adjust it to accommodate the students and uh, staff to make sure we have appropriate days. But it would, it would take uh, one week away if we did not push it back. So look at November 27th to hear from the schools as far as of interim report cards for your students. Uh, November is Family Engagement Month, uh, an opportunity to um, celebrate important uh, family uh, involvement in schools, your child's education, uh, working with families to help uh, students succeed in, in their educational journey. Uh, we're doing a lot with mental health. Uh, we've we've uh, hired some people in to help us out with families, uh, what their needs are, what the students' needs are to make sure that we're able to meet uh, the needs of every child in the Walton County School District. Uh, of course, I want you to understand this as well. Many of our South End schools uh, have seen an increase in the influx of students who are coming from the impacted areas uh, of Michael. Uh, we had almost, we've had uh, to this point, almost 200 students enroll in our schools. And we're trying to accommodate uh, these parents, make it non-traumatic for these children who don't have a place to go to school right now. We don't know how long they're gonna stay. Some may choose to stay forever. Uh, and we want them here as long as they need to be here because we know that we have one of the best school systems in the state of Florida, if not the country. I stand on that forever. It's because we have great people uh, to, that love children and gonna do the right Right thing. Uh, also, uh, November 12th is Veterans Day. That's a holiday for our students. I know we've had a lot of days out, um, and I don't know exactly uh, when we may have to make them up. If we're going to have to make them up, stay tuned. I'll let you know of that. Uh, also, of course, great uh, month to celebrate, and we have so much to be thankful for. Uh, Thanksgiving is this month, November 19th through the 23rd. Uh, enjoy your families. Uh, students are students and teachers return on the 26th, and we want you uh, to just enjoy your families. We have so much to be thankful for, and take that opportunity to see uh, um, those things that we take for granted, and uh, perhaps help those who are who are not as fortunate as us as far as the storm is concerned. I'm standing in the hallways where um, they were filled with people who were displaced because of Hurricane Michael. And at this time, I want to invite Mr. Hope, our principal, uh, Ms. Simmons, Donna Simmons, our, um, our assistant principal, and Ms. Patty, one of our uh, office level personnel, to come in. Uh, they did such a phenomenal job. Mr. Hope, you all, will you all come in uh, and tell us about, if you don't mind, tell us about uh, the experience with hosting uh, almost 1,000 displaced people uh, because of Hurricane uh, Michael, uh, what y'all had to do, and the great fulfillment it gave you all, because I've had so many compliments about the great work you all did, how you hosted people, you made this uh, very challenging situation wonderful for them, and I just want to recognize you all, let our community see great people doing great things in our school district. We had a lot of schools do fill the bus. Uh, Freeport High School exceeded that as well. Uh, stuffed the bus, I think some called it. But if you will, we just talk about um, the work you all had to do, how um, um, uh, you, were, you were glad to do it, and maybe some, some information that you might want to hear. All right. Well, you know, any time that we have to open up as a shelter, it's not for a, a good reason. It's for, you know, the possibility of a storm, in this case, Hurricane Michael coming or it could be afterwards because of flooding or because people displaced from the south that's told to come in and there's no place to go. You know, opening a shelter is a big job. Um, 
you know, first of all, you have to sign everybody in. We check their, um, you know, uh, uh, driver's license to make sure we have SRDs up here. But our main objective uh, when we open as a shelter is to make a difficult situation a little more comfortable. We set up cots, we feed them, we open up um, the media center and give them computer use uh, if they need it. Uh, we shelter pets uh, because that is part of you know the process. Uh, in Michael, we had over 150 cats and dogs that we have a place set up. They're in cages, and uh, you know we take care of the, the pets too. You know the fulfillment uh, is it's just. You see the, the, the happiness on, on the faces of the people because they were told to evacuate. This time, A, B, and C zones had to evacuate. So, you know, one time we were just a smidge short of a thousand people here, you know, and the shelter is actually ran by the Freeport High School staff. Um, there was uh, 11 of us, and that includes from custodial to uh, I had office personnel myself, uh, Ms. Simmons, my assistant principal, Ms. Woodard, who is my secretary, uh, kept everything organized and, uh, you know, we just do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. There is no really role. It's just, uh, it's, it's a reaction to what the actions of the people need, you know. So we just try to make it comfortable. We, th uh, we feed them three meals, hot meals, uh, breakfast, lunch, and uh, dinner. Plus, we have snacks available and drinks, uh, you know, in the cafeteria 24-7. But when it's all said and done, it's tiring, but the fulfillment that you help people, and when they leave and give you that hug or say thank you, you know, that's what it's all about. And we're just proud to be able to help the people that have to come into this shelter and show them what we're about, Freeport, we're family. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ms. 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 Woodard, Ms. Simmons, Mr. Hope. You all, you all may not know this, but they spent the entire time here uh, when we had to set Freeport High School up as a shelter. Uh, all over the county and all over the school district, we've had people respond to uh, the impact and the after effects of Michael. It has been phenomenal. I want to thank all the communities, thank all of the schools. Uh, Freeport High School was not the only school that did the stuff to bus. Uh, we had it all over the district. All the communities were involved, and we appreciate you. Uh, thank you all so much thank for you. serving as you do. I've heard thank such you. great accolades. Thank, thank you very much. All right. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next month.